Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Jennifer Tan. Thank you for joining us. City volunteers who stay behind in Myanmar continue to bring love and care to the needy with the help of local caregivers. Among them are two Burmese women who say that service work has brought positive changes to their lives. Do you still remember burn victim Mi Wei Chao from Myanmar? With the help of city volunteers, the young boy is recovering well at the hospital. At his side is his younger sister, Tui Trinandi, who acts as his interpreter and his personal companion. On days when Tui Trinandi is free, she practices a Tsiji song so that one day when the occasion arrives, it may come in great use. From an amateur to now teaching sign language to children, this new hobby comes as an unexpected yet pleasant surprise to Tui Trinandi, who says that her personality dramatically changed for the better after she joined Tsiji. In the past, I was very short-tempered. I get angry quite easily. I was unhappy with myself and many things in life too. But after I joined Tsiji, I don't get upset as often anymore. At Tsiji events, Tre Trinandi is often accompanied by her sister, So Tunandi, a team of doctor who keeps children entertained when she is off duty. The sisters are inseparable and complement each other well. While the older one treats patients, the younger sister calms their consultation-related jitters. The Burmese girls recently traveled to Taiwan together for the annual Tima convention. People from my family have gone overseas, but it is our first time to Taiwan. Even though we've never set foot in the country before, Tsiji volunteers in Taiwan treated us like family. It was truly heartwarming. Furthermore, I've gained a lot of medical knowledge on this trip. Hearts filled with gratefulness, at a Tsiji gathering this past Sunday, So Tsunandi is unable to hold back her tears. She says visiting Tsiji in Taiwan proved to be a spiritually enriching experience and promises to extend herself to promulgate Tsiji's great love.